major new developments in the deadly police shooting of Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. The Justice Department today leveling federal charges against four current and former officers connected with her death. Among the charges, officers are accused of falsifying documents to obtain the search warrant of her home where she was shot and killed. Then they're accused of lying to cover it up. ABC's Faith Abube reporting tonight from Louisville. More than two years after Breonna Taylor was shot to death in a botched drug raid, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland today announcing federal charges for four current and former Louisville Metro Police officers. The federal charges announced today allege that members of the place-based investigations unit falsified the affidavit used to obtain the search warrant of Ms. Taylor's home. Prosecutors say Sergeant Cal Meany and detectives Joshua James and Kelly Goodlett knew the search warrant lacked probable cause. And they say those two detectives later conspired to cover up their lies, allegedly meeting in a garage to come up with a false story for investigators. We allege that the defendants knew their actions in falsifying the affidavit could create a dangerous situation. Walk back to my voice! Prosecutors say the officers who executed the warrant at Taylor's home knew nothing about the false affidavit. And when Taylor's boyfriend mistook police for an intruder firing a shot from his registered gun in self-defense, officers opened fire, killing the 26-year-old EMT. Former officer Brett Hankison, who was acquitted on state charges for firing into a neighbor's apartment, today charged with excessive force for firing 10 shots through a window and sliding glass door in Taylor's home. Brianna Taylor should be alive today. Say her name! Taylor's death and the murder of George Floyd sparking protests across the country. Say her name! Brianna Taylor! I've waited 874 days. For today. Brianna Taylor's mother calling the charges overdue. What we've been seeing on day one, y'all learning what we've been seeing was the truth that Absolutely. they shouldn't have been there and that Brianna didn't deserve that. When three of the officers charged with civil rights violations could face a maximum of life in prison, a fourth officer could spend years behind bars if convicted. Wit.